saw the reports on Horizon Command. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? It was good to see. Do you have strong feelings for her? What we had together is so fast. I'm sorry. Parting ways with someone so close is never easy. I appreciate you, but I'll be honest. Okay. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station in the crew deck. Operative Taylor would like to see you over in the armory. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Sorry, I'm not really focused. Personal matter. I want to follow my duties. The Yeoman's in the way of the city. What's this about? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But. Well, I got a pain in my ghost the other day. Family. I'm listening. My private lab got an update about the Hugo Gurns back. The ship my father sent me. It sent an SOS last week. Reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard got shot and missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress ticking over. It's been too long. I think it'd be more expensive to father my father. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well healed wound. But if he's actually alive, then it's help. I also want to know that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed in my personal role for service filters. Any signs that this was a service run? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stay cold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like that. Well, you. And whoever sent us my way could have tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors. Or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows what that bunch. You didn't get along with him? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you don't have to. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems you have in your life, take care. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Grimm's and what it was doing. Privately held freight. I looked over the mission briefs when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate the Commander. I don't expect more than dust in bones, but it'll be good to close the record.
find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, what am I doing? Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe, until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with you being located? They know nothing. They're completely unimportant. Normal. I told Cerberus that they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. No shit, even.
having, having serious, serious issues, issues like you. Need to avoid sunlight. Keep the shaded area. Tally in. Oh, yeah. Get ready to talk to Get Every Marine on this rock is sweet. 
expect to hear together. The colony is deep in death territory. Why wouldn't Corians come here now? Never stop the 
a single line.
just to remember, some of us was not when we went up against Sam. I'll be an engineer. Don't forget to introduce yourself to me. The ship's new artificial intelligence. This is the Normandy's technical lab, where you can investigate the research upgrades that will improve ship or team performance. Ship, ship. How can I help? Have you got it at the top? Perhaps I'm trying to get anything else? I'll let you know. We'll be here. Okay. Okay. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I like to 
I miss the old sources, though. Preston, Engineer, and Gas, all of them. It doesn't seem right to have Slippers in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I fully expect to have the at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Jack. Just let me know how I am. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming back. Shut up. Talk to you later. Shut up. What can I do for you? How's the money? Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The Normans are running even better than before. I don't know if it can stand up to a collective attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. Is the new Norman getting any trouble? Please, Shep. I'm a quarry. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jokes. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. I'll let you know. Talk to you later. Little bugs crawling in out of my head. I can't, I can't stop, stop them. You know I have a history with service. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in the Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff to it at some point, but I wasn't gonna see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured me just to see if they could make a strong guy on it. That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is, a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me, so did the guards. I just they killed everything in my way and then, guess my biotics had developed faster than I thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground, drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility. I was a kid, but I wasn't done. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. 
I'm gonna talk to the elusive man, and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny anything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Tilton facility on Conway where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my son. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. I'll set a course for Friday. I owe you, Shepard. Thank you. 
Um, this is probably my last mission of following us. There it is. And mostly intact. They could have survived the impact. Yes. Looks like it was stripped after a crash. They could have tried to get the beacon to the system. Toxology alert. Danger, Danger of mineral decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Override. Override. Beacon, beacon resumed. resumed. Pause, Pause time. time. From the look of this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several moments silence. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified... The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Come on, let's get going. 
My father, My father had, had a working beacon, beacon but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. After ten years, it must have. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! In In Genders differently. Makes males get violent. That's possible. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed in his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would we fight for forces, forces cruel and toxic food? Whatever is happening here needs to stop. stop. What the, what the hell? hell? Somebody, Somebody had to push, push them to make that. That's, that's borderline, borderline worship. Go away. You will like him. You will, you will keep, keep us here. here. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it 
say. It's a cool logbook. Somebody thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and they'd lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on. It wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? It'd never get out. But they did fix it. The signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon to keep the people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Looks like the old bodies were cool. Go, 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 go
now he wants out. Son of a bitch. Here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. 
I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. Gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. Toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain. But ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol... They couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with a mix. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. Shock. They become animals. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. 
He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll intend to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past all leaving now. information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution in the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing is my ship without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. He didn't fall. So who did it? I did. Figures. Who else would get into the chance? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shall we take it? Good with this it's all so bullshit, bullshit. Captain, Captain Taylor, Taylor can rot in prison. Doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already been with the man who used to I guess he's a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea who was in my glasses? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long, long time. Can't figure which way she's meant though. Not sure, sure I want to know. She requires, requires a better man than I. Come on, John, we've got one. Got one. I can. Chef. Sure. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Anytime.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Irina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructs you to waive your fees? The order came from the Ara Desani, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. What can you tell me about the process? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the terminal systems. At the same time, Ivium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous for signing Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contracts to the requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the terminal systems. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nas Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. 
You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on those roster that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find something? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. You said the other is here. What you do? Liara is one of Los Astra's most respected information workers. Los Astra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trade floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Understand! I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. 